The music for this Season 2 review from Huntington Beach Pier is brought to you by Humphreys McGee. Listen and download at Humphreys.com. And by Nilo Tees. For contest gear and more, go to NiloTees.com. After almost 30 years, competitive kneeboarding returned to the NNSA. The five-stop, successful relaunch provided its share of action. Over a dozen riders from around Southern California competed in events in San Diego and Orange County. At the end of the circuit, Tom Lynn of Laguna Niguel won the points race but decided not to compete in the regional championships, and this left the door wide open for other competitors. At the West Coast Championships, Eric Peterson finished first, followed by Ed Quinn and Chris Bermudis. A month later, the national championships were held with hard-charging Ed Quinn crowned the national kneeboard champion. The second season of the Southern California kneeboard circuit kicked off with its first of five stops at the historic Huntington Beach Pier. We asked longtime HB local kneeboarder Mark Robertson about the history of contests at the pier. They had guys like Kirby Fletcher, Corky Carroll. It's when they used to wear the helmets, like a big surf festival at the pier way back in the 60s. But going all along, we've gone through everything from the classic Caton contest, um, where all the top named surfers would come down, certainly like Sean Thompson, Michael Ho, we even had uh, Simon Anderson, people like that. Then we went into like the U.S. Open era, or should I say the OP Pro. So there's been so many contests that have been just a big part of the pure history and you know the iconic image. So even as a amateur for uh, for NSSA, even KSUSA, but you know the lefts into the pier, what we call the pier bowl, or the right off the pole off the ball there have always been uh, really one of the better kind of sandbar pier type setups around in Southern California being open to all swell angles too both swells from the south certainly the west and even the north so I think the guys have fun today a little small but we got warm water sunshine and uh, some little peaks this stop featured two 15-minute heats, with the top three finishers advancing to the final. Last season's winner Tom Lynn and national champion Ed Quinn not competing in this event meant the chase for the championship would be wide open. Front runners included Orange County Sean Noon, Eric Peterson, and from Oxnard, Chris Bermudis. With two new names that joined the list, San Diego's Brad Caldwell, and from Seattle, Washington, Ken Cherry Holmes. As the heat started, Eric Peterson, Brad Caldwell, and Tom Fish were quick to grab the first set of waves, and then the group settled in to make the best of several long lows and small surf. So 
about the things that I lost that I don't miss. But back to the moment, and dig deep enough this time. You forget about your future at the past expense. You know life is only living in the present tense. We asked the youthful Evan Odom to describe his home break. Um, home break is the ocean side jetty, north side of the south jetty. Uh, range from any type of wave on any type of day. It's big, you got long, big walls, you can do whatever you want on them, or you can just have quick little barrels on small days. Um, it's an all around wave. We ask another longtime local, Tom Fish, what is it about Huntington? I like Huntington because it's more of an old man wave, which I like. Um, you do a lot more turns, you know, and, and you don't know what you're going to, you know, surf that day when you sit down here. It might be shore break, it might be outside, it might be mushy, it might be barrels, you know, it could be anything. Other places, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's just big barrels or, you know, mud. So I really, I, I like Huntington. And the guys, the gang, you know, the go boys. to find out who the new guy was from the Pacific Northwest. Ken Cherry Homes. I ride a fluid drive thruster generally or quad fin for my sponsor back in 1984, five and six. And then I quit the sport and I just re-entered riding again after 28 years off. I, I felt like I couldn't dedicate myself on a daily basis like I used to growing up at the beach and I didn't want to be that guy who, you know, I used to be really good and have little kids taking my way. So, um, I didn't feel like I could serve two or three masters at a time and then I've gotten to a point in my life where I said, you know, I really can do anything I want to do and I really love surfing and want to get back into this.
the judges' sheets were tallied, advancing to the final would be Eric Peterson, Brad Caldwell, and Evan Odom, who just edged out Tom Fish. Warm weather and warm water made for a great beach day and the second heat started with a quick insider from Sean Noon. The group spread out with Paul DeVoy on the south edge Ken, Chris, and Sean in the middle, and Leonard Miller, more towards the north end, closer to the pier. We asked Eric Peterson who he thought would do well this season. You know, the one who's been impressing me the most is Tom Fish has really been working hard for this season. and He might be the, the one to look out for. And uh, of course, Sean Newton, uh, Evan Odom, he's been doing really good lately. And, uh, uh, but Brad called me the, the one to look out for. He, he looked really good this morning. He might start off the season pretty good. We asked Sean the differences between Huntington and his local breaks back in South Africa growing up. It seems to be a lot more popular there. The waves are more powerful and hollow. And of course, California is a hot bit of high performance surfing, so it's kind of, you know, none of the kids here want to do it, which is understandable. If the waves was a little different, that might be a different story. But uh, back there, there's a lot of people that do it. You know, it's a, it's a pretty strong little community down there. You know, lots of the waves are reef breaks, super hollow, super short waves, but it ends waves, so that's perfect for people. We asked Chris Bermudis about his favorite break. My favorite place would be the swamp. It's up in Oxnard. It's a, pretty much an unknown break, but that's where I've been surfing since I was really young. A little more of a chase where I live, a little steeper, faster. So I tend to just try to go as quick as I can to make the wave, you know? Yep.
In the end, it would be Sean Noon, Chris Bermudis, and Paul DeVoy advancing to the Stop Ones final. We asked Chris Bermudis why he joined the Southern California kneeboard circuit. Yeah, I, I quit surfing for five years, and then I went to that Magoo contest, and uh, my I got really pumped up after the contest, and I went up. My friend lives up in Ventura. After I got home, my friend gives me a ring and says, "Hey, you been on that D Rider site? You know, whatever they got this kneeboard circuit thing." My friend's like, "You're crazy. You haven't surfed in five. I'm like, "I don't care. I'll pay my dues." You know, at the time I had a blast this season with all those guys. It's Awesome. You know, it's all about being there for me. I think I think uh, Mike Hernandez said basically that yeah, this could be our last chance, brother. I mean, I'm not going to get any younger, and neither are you, right? So this could be our last chance to go out and have as much fun and push our surfing, and you know, what I, you know what I mean. It's, it's great just to be part of. The final was held later in the afternoon as the tide had bottomed out and started to return, still with a small swell. With Lynn and Quinn out, we asked Sean Noon who he was watching out for. You know, I never really worry about anybody else when it comes to contests. I'm trying to concentrate on my own performance, you know. You've, I've come against, up against people that I don't even know their names and they've kicked my ass, so, you know. You never know. Yeah. And, um, you know, you just got to concentrate on your own game as opposed to what everybody else is doing. Sean went north to the Pier Bowl. Paul headed south to watch those right shoulders on the sandbar. That left the middle for Chris, Evan, and the always dangerous Brad Caldwell. We asked Brad why he decided to surf in the circuit this year. Uh, the yeah, main reason is uh, I like all my buddies that do it. It's a chance to get together. Camaraderie is really important. Uh, I like competition, you know. I don't get a lot of butterflies. I don't usually do that good. But I do like the personal challenge of being in the heat so you can get a couple good waves. And uh, you know, I don't ever surf Salt Creek or Seaside Reef. Those are on the venue this year, so I look forward to that.
wanted to know how Brad had stayed so consistent in his surfing over the last decade. Uh, I guess I just keep surfing a lot. <laughs> Surf a variety of ways, you know, but uh, definitely trying to stay in the water three or four times a week. Well, yeah, and always trying to get enough speed, you know, so that you're able to, you know, keep up your momentum. most unusual style on the circuit. We asked Eric Peterson how he developed his style. I kind of have a goofy knee and a regular knee. I, I, I'm more of a, a left man myself. I face forward to the left-handers and I have a backside to the right-handers. So uh, I prefer lefts. I started recording with all stand-ups and I guess I just kind of grabbed where they were putting their feet at and that's where I started putting my knees and I've been doing it ever since and can't stop. In the end, it was the paddling power and rail-to-rail -rail moves that gave the first victory of the circuit to Brad Caldwell. Didn't compete last year, stepped up, first contest. Congratulations. That's <laughs> good. It's good to have be out with everybody. Really hard final. The waves are really small. I, it's probably a very, very close final. I guess I got a couple good hits in. That's all. That's all it takes. You just yeah. need one. It's great to see everybody today. We'll see you next time. Good luck. Right, sounds good. The next stop will be October 5th at Salt Creek in southern Orange County. Want to learn more about kneeboarding? Join in the conversation at ksusa.org.